Good morning and Merry Christmas. So glad you're able to join Tom and I on this Christmas day. It's a wonderful day and it's wonderful to be able to hear the word of the Lord. So uh, let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my Lord, mouth shall declare your praise. Glory Lord, to the Father Lord, and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. 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 Unto us a child is born. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Unto us a child is born. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 2. When are the nations in an uproar? Why do the people mutter empty threats? Why do the kings of the earth rise up in revolt and the princes plot together against the Lord and against his anointed? Let us break their yoke, they say. Let us cast off their bonds from us. He whose throne is in the heaven is laughing. The Lord has them in derision. Then he speaks to them in his wrath, and his rage fills them with terror. I myself have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Let me announce the decree of the Lord, he said to me. You are my son, and this day have I begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall crush them with an iron rod and shatter them like a piece of pottery. And now, you kings, be wise, be warned, you rulers of the earth. Submit to the Lord with fear and with trembling. Bow down before him, lest he be angry and you perish. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are they all who take refuge in him. Let us pray. Lord God, you give the people of the world to be the inheritance of your son. You crowned him as king of Zion, your holy city, and gave him your church as his bride. As he proclaims the way of your eternal kingdom, may we serve him faithfully. And so know the royal power of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, our reading today, I turn here, uh, on Christmas Day, comes from Zechariah. The second verse, beginning with verse 10. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come and I will dwell in the midst of you, says the Lord. And many nations shall join themselves to the Lord in that day and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of them. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. And the Lord will inherit Judah in his portion of the Holy Land and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, of flesh, before the Lord, for he has roused himself from, the ho from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be you. to God. And our second reading comes from 1 John in the fourth chapter, beginning verse 7. Beloved, let us love one another for the love of God, and, who, and he who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this the love of God has made manifest among us that God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the expi expiation for our sins. Uh, beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No man has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us his own spirit and we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son and the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. So we know and believe the love of, of the, the love God has for us. God is love and he who abides in love abides in God and God abides in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Today, Christ is born. Today, salvation has appeared. Today, the just exalt and say glory to God in the highest. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today Christ is born. Today salvation has appeared. Today the just exalt and say glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Father, we are filled with a new light by the coming of your word among us. May the light of faith shine in our words and actions. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Christmas day. As you notice that the antiphons uh, from our readings uh, changed today um, a little bit different because this is uh, Christmas and that Christ has come to us. So, um, so, so, but it's great having you with us and Merry Christmas. Have a great and safe day. God bless. Bye-bye.